Hong Kong English Chinese, Gang Shi Ying Wen is the dialect of the English language most commonly used in Hong Kong. The dialect is a result of Hong Kong's British Overseas Territory history and the influence of native Cantonese speakers. Being a former British colony, Hong Kong predominantly uses British spellings. Pronunciations and words are also predominantly British, although influences from American, Canadian and Australian English do exist as a result of Hollywood movies, TV and Internet culture. In fact, a lot of Hong Kong Chinese families migrated to in alphabetical order Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand and the United States in the 1990s after Tiananmen Square protests of 1989 in mainland China, and when they move back they are less likely to use British English. There is also an influence from the significant non-Chinese demographic e.g., expats and maids. The Hong Kong Examinations and Assessment Authority accepts all varieties of English as e examiners come from many different places. According to Article 9 of the Hong Kong Basic Law, English may also be used as an official language, but the law does not specify which type of English. Cantonese English, locally referred to as Chinglish, in theory, refers to the accent and characteristics of English spoken by native Hong Kongers and other Cantonese people. Overall, it is primarily spoken by native Hong Kong language Cantonese speakers. Therefore, although it is called Hong Kong English, it is not only spoken in Hong Kong. People who come from Macau, Guangzhou, or whose first language is Cantonese speak it. Background Topic. English is one of the official languages in Hong Kong, and is used widely in the government, academic circles, business and the courts. All road and government signs are bilingual and English is as equally valid as Chinese in legal and business standings. English is what distinguished most and those who spoke English or were taught English were considered the elite, meaning those able to be taught English were considered upperclassmen. This conceptualized way of thinking arose in 1984. This dialect is its own category and is the standard in Hong Kong. People with higher education, past experience of living in English speaking countries, or who constantly interact with Hong Kong's English speaking expatriate communities generally speak an acquired form of English. Accent and spelling preference may vary from person to person, depending on the people they have interacted with and the country they have studied in. For most ordinary local Hong Kongers, however, the English spoken is generally typical of foreign language learners. Cantonese influenced pronunciation with some acquired received pronunciation characteristics, and with vocabularies and sentence structure generally more formal than those of native speakers. For instance, contractions and slang are not used, and many idioms are alien to Hong Kongers because the terms pertain more to the cultures of English speaking countries. The falling English proficiency of local English language teachers has come under criticism, since the handover, English in Hong Kong remains primarily a second language, in contrast to Singapore where English has been shifting toward being a first language. Status <laughs> 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 Thirty-five years ago, it was argued that there was no such thing as Hong Kong English, but nowadays its status is much more established. In the dynamic model of post-colonial Englishes, it has been classified as in the third phase, that of nativization, but more recently it has been shown that many young people are happy to identify themselves as speakers of Hong Kong English, so it might be regarded as progressing into the fourth phase, that of endonormative stabilization. Furthermore, it has been demonstrated that Hong Kong English is highly intelligible to listeners from elsewhere, which helps explain why an increasing number of people are happy to be identified as speakers of this variety. Pronunciation Although it may be assumed that, as a result of the colonial legacy, the pronunciation of Hong Kong English was originally based on British English, in fact nowadays there are many features of pronunciation derived from American English, and indeed the influence of American English appears to be increasing. Furthermore, there seem to be some innovative developments that are unique to Hong Kong English, such as a split in the realization of V as F or W. Some of the more salient features are listed below. Topic. Segments Topic. 
There is a tendency for theta to undergo fronting and become f, so through may be pronounced as foo, and three may be phi. However, this is variable, so some speakers pronounce thin as theta n, while others pronounce it as fin. The voiceless th sound may be pronounced as theta at the beginning of words, but f usually occurs at the end. Tends to be d, so this is dis, and whether is wed. V may be w or f, so event may have w while even has f. It seems that w occurs at the start of a stressed syllable while f occurs at the start of an unstressed syllable. There is alternation between l and n, and the same speaker may alternate with words such as light and night, and both loud and number may have either l or n at the start. In initial consonant clusters, l sometimes occurs in place of so crowded may have l while problem often begins with place. With may be omitted from initial kw clusters before a rounded vowel, so quote as cot and quarter as kate. In final consonant clusters, just as with many other varieties of English, there is a tendency for simplification, so the plosive at the end of words such as think and camp is often omitted. Deletion of coronal plosives, t, and, d, from word final clusters has been reported to occur in about 76% of tokens, though this frequency is a little less if the function words and and just are excluded from the analysis. L vocalization is common, so dark, l, in the coda of a syllable is often pronounced as and fill may be f while tell is t, just as in London English cockney. After back rounded vowels, l, is often omitted, so school is sk and wall is w. Like many accents in Britain, Hong Kong English is non-rhotic, so is only pronounced before a vowel. However, with the growing influence of American English, many young people in Hong Kong now pronounce the in the coda of a syllable. There is often little distinction between the non-close front vowels, a, and so bed and bat may be pronounced the same with long and short vowels are generally merged, particularly involving the close vowels, i, and so heat and hit are similar as well as u and so pull and pool are the same vowel reduction is often avoided in function words so a full vowel occurs in words such as an and to as well as the first syllable of content words such as accept and patrol topic <laughs> intonation topic multisyllable words are often differently stressed for example while the word latte is pronounced in most variants of the English language, it is usually pronounced, la tie, in Hong Kong English, with the second syllable stressed instead of the first. Omission of entire r syllables in longer words, difference, becomes, tiffins, and temperature, becomes, t empit, s. Words beginning with unstressed syllables, con, are generally pronounced its stressed form, kn, with a lower pitch, e.g., connection. Consent, condition. Words beginning with stressed syllable, com, e.g., competition, common, and compromise, are pronounced km. The schwa tends to be pronounced as in final closed syllables. Ticket is pronounced te, k, and carpet is pronounced kap. The suffix age is generally pronounced a. Message is pronounced miss a. Package is pronounced pka, etc. There is less vowel reduction in unstressed syllables, and some variation in the placement of stress. For example, chocolate may be pronounced, as distinct from in other varieties of English. Compared to other varieties of English, there is less difference between stressed and unstressed syllables. In most varieties of English, unstressed syllables are reduced, taking less time. This difference is smaller in Hong Kong English. Topic. Others Topic. In Cantonese, there is no structure of diphthong plus consonant. As a result, n becomes e, m becomes m, n becomes n, on becomes o, an becomes a, ek becomes e, k, ok becomes o, k, l becomes u, etc. For the case, an, at, or, ak, the ending consonant is generally omitted, resulting in a. Many Chinese will speak a foreign language with the same characteristic monosyllabic staccato of spoken Chinese, with varying degrees of the natural liaisons between syllables that natives employ. In a similar vein, they often pronounce syllables as if words were transliterated into Cantonese. 
Cameron is pronounced as k -mom based on its transliteration. Basic is pronounced as pay, say, k. When speaking English, many people tend to assign one of the six tones or nine, if entering tones are included of the Cantonese to different words, giving it a Cantonese style. E.g. most Hong Kongers would pronounce there and there differently, giving a higher pitch to there t, tone 1 in Cantonese and a lower pitch to there t, tone 6 in Cantonese. Exaggeration of certain final consonants, for example, s, to, c, and, d, sounds of the past tense form of verbs to Differences or omission in ending sounds, as the ending consonants are always voiceless and unreleased, glottalized in Cantonese with the exceptions of per meter, n, and similar to Basel German. Pronouncing the silent, with, h, sounds in words like green witch, bon ham, chat ham, beck ham, are often reflected in the transliteration of the words, for example, Beckham is transliterated by Xi'an pronounced peak, ha -am. Merging the contrast of voiceless, voiced consonants with aspirated, unaspirated if any contrast exists in Cantonese. This is because English voiceless consonants are most often aspirated, whereas the voiced ones are always unaspirated. The stop p becomes p, and b becomes p, t becomes t, and d becomes t, k becomes k, and becomes k becomes ts, and d becomes ts, except when preceded by s, where the English consonants are unaspirated. Merging voiceless, voiced consonants into voiceless if there is no contrast in aspirated, unaspirated in Cantonese. Both f and v become f, both z and s become s, both and become s. The only exception might be that theta and are never confused due to difficulty in pronouncing theta and many pronounce theta as f and as t. Confusion between homographs, words with the same spelling but different meanings, e.g. the noun resume, c, v, and the verb resume to continue. Topic: <laughs> Grammar. Topic Omitting articles like the and a. Contractions such as aren't are almost never used, even in conversations, as English in Hong Kong is used largely for formal writing. Confusion with verb tenses and agreement of singular or plural nouns, as they have no direct equivalents in Chinese grammar, Mandarin and Cantonese or because that verb tenses are expressed using a preposition or exclamation words at the end of the sentence. Use of prepositions, on, in, and at, are often interchangeable. Prepositions are also sometimes omitted after transitive verbs. For example, I will wait you at my flat, instead of I will wait for you at my flat. Over the phone, this is John, becomes, I am John, a direct translation. Yes, no confusion, in Cantonese, yes, represents an agreement, no, represents a disagreement, whilst in English, yes, represents a positive answer, no, represents a negative answer. For example, she isn't pretty, is she, might attract the answer, no, when the native Cantonese speaker means, I disagree, in my opinion she is pretty. There is, are, becomes. There has, have, a direct translation. Plural forms, there are no plural forms in Chinese, so plural and singular forms tend to be confused. The exclamation, congratulation, is often heard during expressions of joy for one's achievements. Actually, also, in fact, is used much more frequently in Hong Kong English than in Standard English. The Cantonese equivalent, chi ki sat, is used more frequently than actually is used in standard english using lend and borrow interchangeably e g i will borrow you my car real meaning i will lend you my car in chinese the word jia is commonly used for both meanings using rent and let interchangeably omitting ed and ing e g he is charm i feel touch Real meaning, he is charming. I feel touched. Using ed and ing interchangeably, e.g., bored and boring, 
e.g., I am so boring, real meaning, I am so bored. In Chinese, the word wu liao is commonly used for both meanings. Using win instead of beat, e.g., I win you in the race, real meaning, I beat you in the race. In Chinese, the word ying is commonly used for both meanings. Using hear instead of listen, e.g., I hear the radio, real meaning, I listen to the radio. In Chinese, the word ting is commonly used for both meanings. Numbers Topic: 10,000, numbers larger than 10,000. In Chinese, 10,000 is read as one myriad, one 100,000 as ten myriad, one million as one hundred myriad. Despite this, most people will not use the English word, myriad, so this type of English is hardly ever seen. Fractions, in Chinese, the denominator is read before the numerator, so, 3 over 4, or 3 fourths may be misunderstood as, 4 over 3. In this example, three fourths in Chinese is si fen ji san, literally out of four portions, three. Discounts: the Chinese way of saying 10% off is 90% of the original price. This is often written as nine ze or ju ze, which is understood to mean discounted to nine tenths of the original price. When two digits are given the divisor is understood to be 100, e.g. 75 ze or qi wu ze means 25% off. American, British spelling and word usage Both British and American spellings are in common use, with the British variant predominating in official circles. When referring to the same thing, British vocabulary is more commonly used, for example, bin instead of garbage can, lift, instead of elevator, mobile phone instead of cell phone, estate agent instead of real estate broker, chips instead of French fries. The center is a rare example of American spelling in Hong Kong. Variations <inaudible> 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 End word, in informal conversation like instant messengers, sentence final particles or interjections of Cantonese origins such as a, la, la, ma and waw, many of these being flavoring particles, are used at the ends of English sentences. I've eaten dinner la. I've had dinner. La, l, indicates a perfect and makes the sentence more informal. I go la, bye. I'm leaving, bye. La, la, indicates intent and makes the sentence more informal. <laughs> Hong Kong vocabulary, expressions Some words and phrases widely understood in Hong Kong are rare or unheard of elsewhere. These often derive from Chinese, Anglo-Indian or Portuguese, Macanese. A. Chop is a seal or stamp, e.g. a company chop is the seal or stamp of a corporation it actually originates from colonial Indian English, it is now used in some other Commonwealth countries as a non-official term a taipan or taipan is a term used in the early 20th century for a business executive of a large corporation. An ama is a term used in the early 20th century for a live-in servant from Macanese, Portuguese ama nurse, now supplanted by domestic helper. A shroff is a cashier in a hospital, a government office or a car park parking garage. Go down is a warehouse from the Malay Gudang. Nulla is a concrete lined canal or an reinforced creek bed used to contain runoff. Nulla entered the English language from Hindi. The word nulla is used almost exclusively in Hong Kong. Lai si means lucky money. Filth. Filth. Failed in London, try Hong Kong is a slang expression used to refer to people who look for employment opportunities in Hong Kong after being unsuccessful in looking for a job in the United Kingdom. The word seldom is used instead of rarely. In informal English, the word seldom is considered formal in English-speaking countries. A raffle is invariably referred to as a lucky draw. 
Jetso is sometimes used to mean discount or special offer. Hong Kong foot, a literal translation of the Chinese slang term, Shang Gang Zhao, for athlete's foot. An early record for the Chinese name was found in Chen Jun Bao. S. Diary, Shane Jun Bao Ri Ji, where an entry from 3 August 1944 claimed the term was named by Shanghaiese, while Hong Kongers called it Singapore Foot, Xing Jia Po Jiao, and Singaporean called it Manila Foot, Man Ni La Jiao. Singapore Foot is still used by Singaporean media as of 2017. The word cheap can mean of good value in formal English. In Hong Kong English, the word Cheap tends towards the more derogatory connotation, meaning something is of low quality and distasteful. Research is also being done on the generation of new Hong Kong English vocabulary driven by computer mediated communication between bilingual Cantonese and English speakers. Rather than using complicated Chinese character keyboard interfaces, Hong Kong English speakers will text and email English translations to the point that the English word often gains independent usage. Add oil. Add oil, verb, literally to fuel, is used more as an idiom to encourage a team or person. The term has long been limited to the Cantonese. Gaa Jau. Jau after originating as a cheer at the Macau Grand Prix in the 60s, but Hong Kong English speakers are increasingly using the English transliteration. Locust. Locust noun, referring to tourists from the mainland and meant to connote both masses and a drain on local resources. The word is derogatory and originated during shortages of powdered milk, which anti-parallel trading protesters blamed on mainland parallel traders. Light bulb literal translation of Dian Deng Dan means a third person that spoils the ideal combination of a couple. Do not be a light bulb means do not play gooseberry. Topic: <laughs> Common differences the Cantonese speaking community. Topic. A body check is used to refer to a medical checkup, medical examination, not a contact with an opponent from the front due to literal translation from Chinese. Outlook is often mis understood as appearance. The noun look or appearance biao in Cantonese is commonly preceded by the character for outer. Why? Using open instead of turn on and close instead of turn off for electronics such as televisions and fans this is because open and turn on both use the same character kai in cantonese in spoken cantonese closing the door shuan for the action men for the door and turning off appliances she for the action is denoted differently nonetheless in formal writing the same character Guan is commonly used for both. Read later for later. Read surface for service. Read pon t for point. Topic. See also. Topic. Linguistics Chinese Pidgin English. Phonemic differentiation. Regional accents of English. Chinglish Singlish Makanese Portuguese Hong Kong code switching in Hong Kong Education in Hong Kong Hong Kong Cantonese Languages of Hong Kong Topic References Topic Topic External links Topic. Karin Yeo, the 23rd of February 2009. Hong Kong's English Cantonese conundrum. The Straits Times. The cat got your mother tongue. The Brits make a linguistic comeback. The Economist, the 12th of June 2008.